Welcome. This is a short little review on 7OS Neptune, which is basically a brand new Linux distribution uh, of the 7OS folks. And yeah, it comes in two major versions one minimal edition and one full edition. The minimal edition, yeah, more intended for low end computers, uh, as you can see here from the system requirements 600 megahertz Intel AMD CPU, 600, 160 megabytes RAM and 3 gigabytes uh, hard drive and the full edition comes with uh, a KDE environment and of course is more intended for the modern hardware as you can see here I'm running the KDE version it comes with yeah, a good collection of standard tools just like the Chromium web browser as you saw right now it has um, iStuff here a mail client which is basically uh, Thunderbird but renamed and with a different icon then there is some um, uh, standard software like VLC as media player, there's Amarok as audio player and uh, audio management software, K3B as burning application, and there is also some uh, nice multimedia tools just like Audacity which allows you to edit audio files and there is also a pretty nice uh, desktop screen recorder which I'm using right now. Uh, it basically uses FFmpeg in the back end. So if you go me here, click on here on about, you can see Rec FFmpeg, small Python script which uses FFmpeg to record your desktop. Works pretty much very nice. And then we have also under multimedia a uh, code which is an application which allows you to encode to different formats, audio and video formats. As you can see here, you have some container formats just like a, uh, AV or, or, or RV, uh, MP2, MP3, MP4. So also audio formats are supported. If you click on this, you only get the audio options here. You have the option to also con and convert to WebM. So all the major formats are here. You have some codecs here, audio and video codecs, as you can see works pretty good, pretty fine. Also includes a um, YouTube downloader which allows you to not only download but also download and convert to an MPEG format or extract the MP3 from a YouTube um, video. Then there is also a video editor, KDN Live basically, which allows you to edit simply your video just like this video uh, right now what I'm recording uh, gets edited by this Cadian Live works pretty, pretty good and is uh, one of the best uh, video edis editors I think out there. There are some other applications uh, for Office. Of course, there's LibreOffice uh, pre-installed. Um, there is a um, contact management software called People, which yeah is very simple but works, and it. Um, yeah, it can convert and save vCard formats, so pretty nice. Then there is uh, some other software for graphics editing. We have uh, GwenView as uh, image viewer. We have GIMP or installed. We have ScanLight as scanning application. So all the major KDE applications are in there. Uh, there is Digicam in, in a pretty new release, I think it's 2.4.1, so this is also very interesting to know if you go to 7S Snapdragon website, you can read here that it is uh, based upon Debian testing, so you'll, you will get basically a rolling release distro with all the new stuff in it. Um, there is an, a repository for 7 OS Neptune, an extra repository which also gets updated regu regularly. As you can see here, as the release came out, uh, we uh, there was uh, KDE 4.7.1 shipped with it. Now I upgraded my system, and as you can see, let me go here to the info. You can see that it is now at 4.7.4, uh, so they updated also to this new release. And as uh, far as I know, it's not in the Debian repos, so it was downloaded from their repos. And there is also a very interesting um, software in here called Magi. Let me search for it. Magi 2. 
which yeah, kind of reminds me of a netbook launcher so you have some big icons here to click basically maybe something for your grandma also <laughs> if she wants to learn how to uh, yeah, very easily start some applications, web browser, I see chat, as you can see Skype here, uh, which is also pretty handy, I installed Skype with this way, so you just click on it, N normally if you install it, uh, Skype is not pre-installed, so if you want to install it, you have a grey icon here, if you click on it, it will then automatically ask you, or will first ask you if you want to install Skype, you click yes, and it automatically downloads uh, Skype, so pretty nice and cool tool. Then there is Software Center which is basically the Moon Software Package Management Center which ships also with Kubuntu and you can just simply browse through some faster games for example Arcade and you will get some games here with, with ratings and you can also go into details here and you can see a screenshot of the games. Also pretty new version of the Moon Software Center uh, it's shipped here, so I think the newest version, <laughs> uh, a beta version, let me check this here. Yeah, as you can see here, 1.2.65, this is beta version 1.3, beta 1, I think, from the Moon Software Center. It ships with the Moon Software um, Packager also, which, uh, just let me type in Moon here, which, um, kind of resembles Synaptic, if you know it from the GNOME world. Uh, so you have some categories here, you can choose software from, and you have basically all the packages here that you can install. You have some information about the package, just like technical details, uh, r mm, dependencies and change log. You can just mark it for installation and install. Uh, there's also an update manager available, the Moon Updater, which allows you to install update, which uh, is also a new version here, the 1.3 beta, so it works pretty pretty fine. As you can see here, you have some system uh, upgrades, and if you have some application upgrades, you have a different category here for system uh, for, for application upgrades, and uh, yeah, this is uh, very easy to use. Yeah, and this is basically the KDE version. There is the minimal version coming with LXDE, which looks pretty much the same as the KDE version and um, has, but in contrast to this, has of course the GNOME uh, 2 tools on board and um, yeah, the GNOME can feel. What's more interesting, I think, is that it also ships with two unofficial versions. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can see there's a desktop based on GNOME, so the GNOME 3 shell is uh, also available in unofficial version. And there is also a full-featured desktop based on MATE. So the MATE desktop environment, as you can see here, resembles the GNOME look and feel, and this is also one very interesting um, desktop environment I tested out show you this in uh, my next video so just wait one second and we are on the mate desktop yeah now we are on the mate desktop as, as you can see it looks pretty much familiar to the gnome 2 folks uh, it is basically a gnome 2 fork called mate and if you open up for example an um, browser window here and uh, file browser window you can see under info that it is uh, Kaya so not Nautilus which which is uh, here in use uh, but it's basically has the same features uh, you have tabs in the um, file manager you have uh, the option to go to detail list view and so on so it works just pretty much the same. Pretty nice theme um, is in use here. I think it's an elementary theme uh, which the which uses the fancy icons. And I'm running the live system here. So as you can see, there are some um, icons here as well, just like the persistent creator, which allows you to create a persistent. A file on your USB thumb drive so that you can only use your USB stick to boot up Neptune without uh, installing it to the hard drive and you can make changes, uh, configuration changes, you can install applications uh, and so on. It will save them in this persistent file. You can 
choose the file size here so if you have 2 gigabyte or 4 gigabyte uh, USB stick you might consider using a little bit less um, memory here but uh, in my case I have an 8 gigabyte for, um, thing here running an 8 gigabyte USB stick so I can just go up to 5 gigabyte or something like this and yeah there is also the software center installed here but this is not the Ubuntu software center as we know it the, the brand new this is just like the old unbranded software center uh, that works also very good it kind of feels just like the Moon software center so nothing very special so it, it is consistent in this way you can just go here and go to more information you can see a screenshot of uh, the application you can just install it and yeah this is basically the software center you also have synaptic if you go under systems uh, administration you can see synaptic package manager here and yeah you can just simply search for your applications and just install them by category or uh, another way <laughs> around if you want to there is also the update manager available here it's uh, using GNOME uh, Display Manager 2 so you have also the options to theme your Display Manager as you can see here it's using an Appian GDM theme here you can choose some other themes here and install them if you want to yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty nice, works fine uh, there is Gparted, so if you want to partition your mm, hard drive before installing you can do this by uh, just going to Gparted if you have, this is pretty nice, the uh, mm, yeah, an, an disk device manager which allows you to just auto mount your disks so if you have some disks like I have my home partition here I can just click on enable here and this will create an etc fs stub entry so it will auto mount this partition, this particular partition on every uh, system start which is uh, pretty nice, pretty handy this uh, disk manager utility then there are some settings as you can see Adobe Flash Player is already installed there are some uh, yeah, applications just like the uh, VPN C GUI which allows you to just check into a uh, VPN network pretty easy, you have some profiles here and a username, password, yeah, there's some profiles already shipped with and yeah, pretty nice there is also a hardware manager, the 7OS hardware manager, which is pretty cool, which allows you to install graphic cards uh, drivers, the proprietary graphic card drivers, but also printer drivers. If you click here on printer, you can see I have the option to install uh, HP printers that are already installed and brother printer drivers, so if you have some uh, special printers that don't get recognized automatically, you can just install uh, the printer drivers for your printer and they have some graphic cards drivers as well here as you can see it automatically detected that I having uh, I have an ATI card in my um, system which is wrong <laughs> as you can see here because it's an Intel Corporation blah 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 core Intel HD 3000 which I'm having here which I have running here but nevertheless it, uh, I tested it with my other laptop which has an NVIDIA card in it and just click on install and it will automatically install the uh, appropriate driver for your hardware which is pretty nice so nevertheless the uh, software collection here is a little bit different as you can see also LibreOffice Libre and people are shipped with uh, the image viewer in this case is um, Eye of Gnome uh, I think it's the Mate version, Eye of Mate, as you can see here, the Mate version of Eye of Gnome. There is uh, GIMP uh, and Shotwell. For the internet stuff, there's uh, iStuff, and there is Ice Weasel, so a re, uh, yeah, renamed Firefox, basically, which runs pretty, pretty, pretty fast. I guess it's an older version here, 701 or so. It's very very not not the brand new version I guess but it is a very good uh, solid version 
then there is uh, Pigeon as instant messaging client, then there is of course uh, Java is installed, so Sun Java 6 is already installed, Audacity again as uh, audio editor, there is Banshee as audio management tool, and there's a desktop recorder, uh, there is OpenShot as video editor, so the pendant to KDN Live for the KDE world, uh, OpenShot video editor here for the GNOME world, there is Totem as video player, and there's a system app just like the Comp Manager, which is a Compass Manager, which allows you to, I think you can see it if I activate Shadow here, click on Activate, see that this little uh, window now has a shadow on it. Oops, let's open this one and another one. Now you can see there's a shadow around this um, window, and if I deactivate this, see no shadow. So uh, pretty nice compass uh, made easy <laughs> basically. There is GDB as a package installer, there is also Palipsest uh, disk utility management stuff which allows you to also format your hard drive. You can see your partitioning scheme here, you can format it can um, check the disk if it's uh, on its consistency. You have the smart status, which you can see here. You have the um, speed of your disk here, all the information that you might need uh, to know if you want to check your disk or if you want to buy a new disk or something like this. So very nice. So all in all, I think uh, pretty much um, good software collection here. Uh, runs just like GNOME 2, basically, and uh, I encountered no problems here so far. So, very nice version of Mate in this case uh, of Savannah's Neptune. And yeah, more information I think you can grab from the Savannah's Neptune website, savannahs.com slash Neptune. There you might also want to check out, there are some nice uh, advertising videos and screenshots as well. So thanks for watching and until the next time.